Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be a contour and highlight do and don'ts video. This is the most requested video that you guys wanted to see since I did my eyeshadow do and don'ts video. And as you can see here, this is the do side and then the horrible don't side. As you can see, there's a proper straight line across my face. Anyways, the first thing that I'm going to do is just um, do my base makeup. So basically moisturizer and foundation. And I'm using the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizer. It's just such a light and moisturizer moisturizer and I just really like it and then for foundation I'm just using my Milani foundation in the shade 9 tan you want to make sure that you're applying a thin layer of foundation because we're gonna apply some more products on top of that and for the eye stuff a don't I would say is to not use a very 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 light concealer that's not suitable for your skin tone and just completely just apply it under the eye and not kind of spread it out and same for the forehead and the chin not kind of like bringing it out and just doing a random dot there and I'm just blending it out to show you guys how light it is it's seriously like even the camera's not picking it up enough it's just so so light um, what I would recommend is to take a concealer that's more suited for your skin tone maybe half a shade or a shade lighter I always suggest lighter but I like to just spread it out and in a triangle shape as you can see here and I do the same thing on my forehead and um, and yeah just make sure that it kind of blends into your skin and it's just not some random light patch under your eye and on your forehead and I just like to take my beauty blender whenever I'm working with cream products to blend everything out and I also like to take the other side of the sponge that I use for my foundation and just basically blend the edges so it's not like a harsh line it's just nicely blended if that makes any sense now for a don't to set your concealer, I wouldn't use a really really light powder, again try to use powders that are more suited for your skin tone, at least what, that's what I would say personally, you can do, you guys know, you, you do you if you like the way you do your makeup, but I probably would suggest maybe a powder that's more suitable for your skin tone so like for example for me I like to use the Ben Nye Banana Powder and I feel like that's such a nice shade for like deeper skin tones. So yeah, when you're using cream products, make sure to use the right colours that are not too dark or too light for your skin tone. And now on to cream products, like cream contouring. A don't I would suggest is to use a completely dark, dark shade. Again, it's more about the shades and also here, as you can see, I'm just literally just doing a really really harsh line and it's super low I wouldn't I've seen so many girls wear a straight line across their face and it's super dark and it looks super muddy and I've seen it so many times and I don't really think it's flattering to be honest um, what I would say is to use a more lighter shade and then what I like to do is just flatten my beauty blender as you can see here and then kind of like softly blend that into the hollow of my cheek so as you can see you can kind of see a shadow naturally and I would place my sponge a little bit above that because if you go straight on top of it the product will go too low and then it wouldn't really look natural um, that's why I like to go a little bit higher and kind of bring it up to my temple and yeah, I just feel like it creates a more natural shade and a more natural cheekbone, even though I've got a really round face and non-existent cheekbones. <laughs> and now for the powders to set your contour, I wouldn't go in with a really, really dark shade again. This powder that I use is super dark. And as you can see, I'm really like, it's more of a like a line than kind of like nicely blending in, into your skin. And it's not really nice when you look to the side. Now what I like to use is a more lighter powder for my skin tone. I would say maybe a shade or half a shade darker for like bronzers and contour powders. Um, for contouring, like to kind of shade in your cheekbone, I would use cool tone powders. But then for bronzers, I like to use warm toned. Um, I really kind of like vary, it varies with which one I use but I, as you can see this one is less darker and more suitable for my skin tone. What I would like to do is kind of swatch them on my hand, hand or my face to see which one is most suitable for my skin and that's how I kind of find my bronzer contour shade. And yeah I'm really using less pressure as well towards the center of my face as well now a don't for highlighter is to use a super super light highlight um, I've seen this a lot as well on girls where it creates a really white cast on their face and it just doesn't look really natural to be honest and it's super easy to get carried away with highlighters especially me I like to pack that highlighter on but you have to make sure that you're 
using the right shade so as you can see this one's more warm toned and a bit more darker so that when I pack it on it really doesn't like create that white cast it looks like it's an inner glow that it's coming from your skin naturally um, and that's what I kind of like um, and yeah that's what I would suggest for the highlight and that's the contouring and highlight do's and don'ts video for you guys and again, if you do your makeup in a certain way and that I've said in this video is a don't, please don't take it personally. I just, I'm just i just giving my tips and advice for how to make your contour and highlight look as natural as possible and most flattering. But please, please don't take it personally. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll have my eyebrow do and don'ts video soon. And please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!